we're back. It is ridiculously early in the morning because we got to be at the airport before 5 a.m. to catch our flight, and I am feeling it. But I think what this travel vlog is going to be about, or the underlying theme, is how every little kid growing up has dreams and aspirations. They want to be something special. They want to be more. And I think that for a lot of young boys, or Cole and I especially, we loved sports growing up and we dreamed of being professional athletes. And obviously because you're watching me on YouTube and not on a TV screen, unless you're watching YouTube TV, you know that I did not make it in the traditional sense and neither did Cole. I think what is neat about today is that, in a way, we got a second chance. Anyways, coffee's done, so let's get rolling. <sighs> Lovely Calgary winter 2.0. It always like gets warm in the spring, and then it gets less warm very rapidly, and then it gets more warm, and then it gets less warm, and then it gets more warm, and then it gets less warm, and we're in like the 18th cycle of that. Isn't Canada the freaking best? Like, don't we just love living here with all this lovely snow? Got stopped at security for his giant metal butt plug. That's actually a gym pin and a butt plug. Good dope, doubles. I was worried that we lost Cole, but look at the camera. Say hi, camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> so, like, how old were you when you realized that you weren't gonna make it in basketball? Like, truly, I probably gave up on it, like, after that year in California. So you were, like, 19, 20? 21. 21. So you, you held on to that for a long time. Yeah. I don't know. It was, like, a bit of a reality check. Like, I just kind of, because I went to school in California and kind of, like, even, like, as hard as I was working, I was still just, like, shit compared to people who could, like, had a natural ability for basketball who were just faster and could jump higher and it's like I was like grinding myself into the dirt I had horrible planner fashion I had horrible tendonitis and everything trying to put up like enough shots so I could out shoot someone who could jump from the free throw line and dunk right but you just like you know you could you know I don't know do you guys think he's actually asleep or is he just fake snoring I didn't know where I was. I could tell. Ugh. I just like heard airport noise and someone touching me and I was like, what the f <laughs> Why am I at an airport?
Okay, so we're here. Got a sandwich. I'll update you guys if anything interesting happens. And update something interesting is kind of about to happen. This is freaking terrifying. Look at how high I am. Wow. I am not sure if I am a fan of this. <laughs> There's Cole booking it up there because he is also not a fan of this. How much did you hate that? I felt very dizzy and I was kind of scared someone was gonna like bump into me and push me over the railing because I was kind of tall for the railing. So Cole's gotta send updates to his coach so his coach can kind of dial in the final peak into the show. So we are stripping down in nature. Well, he, okay. not we. Sheesh. Uh, well, actually, like, when I was playing at Berman, like, I started watching a lot of, like, bodybuilders on YouTube, like James Holland said, and Luke Sando, and I was listening to, like, Ben Pekulski's podcast with, like, Milos, and, like, I started getting, like, kind of interested in bodybuilding, but, like, didn't think I would ever do it there. I did want to, like, lift weights and get jacked. I was actually looking forward to being done basketball so I could lift weights full-time, but I never thought that I would, like, do it competitively until later when I got to Florida. And there I was just like bored, just doing it for fun and I needed something. I wanted to be good at something. I wanted to push myself like, to the limits and wanted to actually like make, like try something and like see if I can actually like be great at something. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I had a little anxiety attack of thinking about getting my next meal. Yeah. But uh, I gotta remember to be where my feet are and just, I don't know. Do you wanna get your next meal in and then go right to the gym? I think that'd be a good idea, yeah. Dude, like, what else could I be? <laughs> He's ready. Never mind. I lied. He's not ready until I shave his back. And, and, and ass. I'm going to have to shave his ass, but I don't think we're going to put that on YouTube because YouTube won't like that. But I think, like, the whole He's ready thing is reflective of the biggest difference between bodybuilding and basketball. Bodybuilding, as much as like you are competing against other people on the show, you're really competing against yourself. Like, you're just trying to look better than you looked at the last show, and you're trying to be bigger and leaner and nastier than you can be, kind of thing. And it's like, obviously, like, you are competing against other people to some extent, but like, and genetics, You're really not. Like, genetics factors into that comparison, but if he beats his last show, then that's a win. If yeah. he beats his last show the next time around, that's a win. If he beats that show the next time around, that's an even bigger win. Like If you keep doing that over and over and over again, that's how you actually get somewhere. And and I think for me at least, like the problem with the dream that I was chasing as a kid is I just wanted to be the best motocross racer and I obviously failed at that and right now it's not like I don't want to be the best powerlifter 
but I also want to be the best powerlifter that I can be. And as long as I can keep beating my best and keep doing better and keep learning and keep growing, like the fact that I can keep doing better and keep learning and keep growing and keep beating myself is going to keep me in it for longer. Because the problem with motocross, I want to talk about that how I ran out of talent, which in a way I did, but the reason I quit wasn't that I ran out of talent. I ran out of desire to keep trying to get better because I burnt myself out. And adapting the attitude that I have towards powerlifting, I'm 10 years into this. I've hit some hard walls, but I am more excited than ever to keep getting better. And seeing Cole approaching bodybuilding in the same way that I've learned to approach powerlifting makes me really, really, really excited to see his growth in the sport. So I think that's what I'm going to leave you guys with tonight. Thank you so much for watching me doing a really shitty haphazard job of shaving Cole's back while trying to talk to a camera. Peace out. Have a good night.